So my previous long-term project before a history of misogyny was called On Eating Disorders, but parallel I was working on different kinds of chapters and projects also connected to sexuality, femininity, gender, and it was after actually uh, finishing On Eating Disorders that I realized I needed to start a new long-term project that have a conceptual umbrella that would help me to develop the different other chapters and uh, projects that I wanted to, to approach, and that's how more or less um, a history of misogyny was born. The project is called On Abortion, but it's all actually about the repercussions of not having access to abortion in the world. I also realized how these people used to have this tendency to tell me that these problems belong to the past or belong to other countries. And I thought it was an interesting way to, by making these comparisons, understanding that it's about human rights and human rights are always going to be jeopardized by the political situation. I was not a stranger to finding um, people who was going to share very intimate and uncomfortable and stigmatized stories. So I was aware that it was going to be hard, but I was used to it. The problem with this chapter, with this new project, was the fact that for them it was more dangerous because we were talking about illegal abortion. It's such an important and brave and incredible um, and generous uh, the fact that these women uh, decided to share those stories and it was very important to me to put some faces in, in this issue because people don't really know about it and that's why I decided to, yeah, to work with them. I have this tendency of trying to visualize what is invisible sometimes because it's illegal or hidden but also in this case it happened in the past or it's impossible to actually be there when it happens. So it is interesting because I am actually more used to use book as platforms in the beginning. My previous projects, books were the main platform. And this uh, started the other way around and it was first born as an exhibition. What was hard for me was trying to find ways to visualize the different concepts and aspects around, around the issue. And in order to do that, I, I just decided to use whatever I need to use. That means uh, archival images, that means reconstructions, uh, my own photographs. Text is definitely half of the project and it's very important as well. Um, but I also have this goal, like most of the time people who goes to my show or, or maybe reads the book, they are probably not much interested in abortion. Um, so it was a challenge for me, the kind of target that I would get. So I decided to make it as most interesting as possible. So I would keep people in the show as long as as possible so they would kind of like consume some facts that maybe they didn't know before and with that new information maybe something would change.